Let's go to Daniel Wild from the Institute of Public Affairs. They would argue vehemently against that proposition. Daniel, thank you for your time. Surely this is a myth that nothing has been done. Alan, great to be with you as always, and you're right, uh, there's been a lot done to try and help Indigenous Australians over decades, whether it's the dozens of government agencies we have in place at the local, state and federal level, or the hundreds of millions of dollars that we spend each and every year trying to improve outcomes on the ground. And I think it's a tragedy what's happening in remote parts of the country, in the Alice or other parts of Queensland, Western Australia, the APY lands in South Australia. But the reality is that the money and the resources do not get to the people who need it on the ground because we're tangled up in Canberra-based and city-based bureaucracies and city-based politicians who don't spend any time out on the ground. You know, Anthony Albanese spent a few hours in the Alice uh, for some photo ops and then spent three days at the tennis. And, uh, you know, it's just another example of how those in the inner cities are out of touch. They might be well-meaning, but they're out of touch and they're not able to improve outcomes. Meanwhile, we're spending more money than ever before but outcomes are worse and worse. See, Daniel, you know, we talk about Indigenous Australians. Why do we lump all Indigenous Australians together? Because as your Institute of Public Affairs has rightly argued, as have I, there are only 20% of Indigenous Australians outside the workforce and the familiar social structures of modern life. I mean, it's those 20%, isn't it, for whom social outcomes are often disastrous. But as you have said, and rightly, there have been decades of sincere and well-resourced efforts to address them. Now, it's, it's, it's an insult. It's an insult to hardworking taxpayers in Australia to say, you've done nothing for us. Well, you're exactly right, Alan. We know it's only about, as you say, 20% who are suffering acute disadvantage. And this is mostly in remote parts of the country. It's a question of place, not of race. If you are in a very remote part where you don't have economic or social services or infrastructure, then you are going to struggle. And we know that there's three key components of any flourishing community, jobs, schools, and law and order. If you don't have those things in, three things in your community, then there will be breakdown. And that's what we're seeing in the Alice and other parts of, of the country. So uh, you're spot on. It's about 20% that need the mm. help, yet they're not getting it because it's tangled up in city-based bureaucracy. Quite. I mean, your executive director, Scott Hargraves of the IPA, has said another false premise is this business that nothing has been done. Now, I've made this point many times. Young people in particular and others are brainwashed into believing that Indigenous Australians have no rights, no assets, no voice. Daniel, let's start with the almost 40 billion, 40,000 million a year spent on Indigenous programs. That's a greater sum than is spent on Medicare. Well, you're quite right, Alan. The, the sum is eye-watering and Australians are not told the extent of the generosity and the extent of government involvement and programs and spending on Indigenous communities. Uh, what we need is not necessarily more money. You know, if more money would solve the problems, I'd be in favour of it. We'd all be in favour of it because we want to help out the people that are in need, but more money does not solve the problems on the ground. And another Canberra-based bureaucracy with the voice to Parliament is not going to solve it. It's just going to be another layer of, of bureaucracy in Canberra with the same inner city academics that have got us into the problems to start yeah. with. Yes. And that's why I think what Peter Dutton has yeah. been saying about we don't need this elite no. voice in Canberra, we need something on the ground is exactly right. Yeah, 